Now Warner Paul Naskin here courtside in the Vine Center where we just watched the Liberty Flames defeat Jacksonville 72 to 58 in this A Sun Championship quarter final. And as Liberty, the two seed taking on the seven seed here, but still an impressive performance from the Flames, given that Jacksonville had given them some problems in their previous two matchups. Yeah, and, and a team with new life for yeah. this tournament. So, you know, you would come out and get Jacksonville's best shot, and 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 they gave it. But, um, you know, credit Liberty. You know, I, I really wanted to see them come out. Look, you're the two. Come out and play like yeah. the two and really – Put, put it on somebody and leave no doubt, and, and the Flames really did that. Let's take a look at how that happened. Some of the highlights from this ball game, taking it back to the early stages. Liberty came out firing a 9-0 run to begin this ball game. The way you want to start in a tournament play like this. Yes, and, and they came out hot, and, and Jacksonville had no answer, but you know, credit Coach Jazik, he made a switch, and I think that sort of helped them in that first bit of the first half. They went to the zone, and that stymied Liberty a little bit. And this was a big turning point. David Bell ejected the flagrant two foul committed against uh, Scotty James, so he was done. And once he exited, the Flames got a little boost of energy, knocked down a three quick threes to push their lead to double digits before the half. Yeah, they really seized that opportunity. You know, even though Bell was the interior player, they didn't necessarily go inside, but losing him was, was huge and Flames seized the moment. Second half, Jace Hogan, the senior leader, trying to bring the Dolphins back. He had 13 points in all in the game. But Miles Baxter Bell, off the bench, eight second half points. A guy who really stepped up, another veteran for Liberty doing his part. Yeah, and then also Mayo had help from Lavelle Cabell, who was on the sidelines with uh, a lot of the first half with fouls. So Lavelle comes in, 11 second half points to balance Mayo's score. Amani Santos, a big night for the Dolphins, but it wouldn't be enough as Liberty pulled away down the stretch, shooting over 60% from the field in the second half as they win at 72 to 58. And so with the win, Liberty will now advance to face North Florida in the next round, a team they split with in the regular season. A couple of close ball games. Yeah, Should maybe a little fun. revenge in play because North Florida so. got them down there. We'll have the call on Thursday. We'll hope you'll join us.